to two. Fives Pridwell, 32 Squire Silk. Away to a first time up. Nijmegen isolated over on the far side in the centre, non vintage. Right up with them, Catastrophe, and Catastrophe's going to land in the lead from Romansa. Catastrophe, Romansa, Nijmegen on the far side. Then comes a non vintage just in behind them, Strong Promise. And on the near side, it's Dream's End as they come up towards the winning post on the first circuit. With Romancer in the lead from Nijmegen, the sheepskin noseband, then Catastrophe and Non-Vintage and Dream's End towards the near side and Strong Promise. Then comes Pridwell on the inside of Pridwell is Thornton Gate. The back markers at the moment a Bookcase and Clifton Beat. And they go out over to the far side and a good gallop, Romancer on the inside. As they swing left-handed, Romancer from Dream's End and then Nijmegen and behind Nijmegen is Catastrophe and then Non-Vintage and Strong Promise and behind them Pridwell. Then comes Warm Spell and Stompin and Celibate and behind Celibate is Express Gift and on the inside Eskimo Nell. Clifton Beat and Bookcase still just the back markers. Romancer landed over the second in the lead. Nijmegen with the sheepskin noseband on the inside. Dream's End towards the near side as we see them. Just in behind them, Strong Promise. And behind Strong Promise is Catastrophe and Non-Vintage. Then Pridwell and Thornton Gate has run out. Thornton Gate ran out at that flight by the look of it from here. It's right up with him and is probably going to be eased off if I'm right that he was, uh, that he missed that flight. Yes, he's being eased up. Romancer, the leader from Catastrophe who goes second ahead of Devon Vintage and then Strong Promise on the outside and then Pridwell. Then Nijmegen over the fourth. Romancer jumping very fast. Landed about two lengths clear over the fourth there. Romancer towards the right of the picture, being tracked by Nijmegen, the sheepskin noseband, Catastrophe just towards his outside, then non-vintage, and then comes Strong Promise, and then Express Gift behind Express Gift is Stompin'. And you saw there on the inside rail Thornton Gate, who had missed a flight and who has now been pulled up. And it's Romancer in the lead as they race now towards the cross flight in this tote gold trophy handicap hurdle. Romancer towards the right of the picture. Over on the far side, it's Stompin'. Express gift up there with Devon Vintage. Catastrophe is just in behind them. And over that one, Eskimo Nell fell, Eskimo Nell fell, and Bookcase fell as well. Coming down towards the home turn, Romancer still has the advantage on the inside. Express gift towards the left on the outside. Just in behind them come Non Vintage. Just in behind uh, Non Non Vintage and still very much uh, in contention. Just behind them is Clifton Beat who's made good progress. And Square Silk also and over on the far side. Nijmegen is not out of it. That was the third last. And it's Romancer with the advantage from on the near side. Express Gift. Squire Silk comes next. Pridwell's been pulled up. Nijmegen over on the far side. Romancer from Squire Silk now as they come down towards the second last. Romancer on the near side. Squire Silk. Clifton beat not far off him. Nijmegen over on the far side. That was the second last flight. Racing towards the final one now. And it's Romancer being pressed by Clifton beat on the near side, Squire Silk on the far side, coming down towards the final flight, it's Squire Silk on the far side, who's just taken a fractal advantage from Romancer, then comes just in behind them Clifton Beat, over the final flight, and it's Squire Silk from Romancer, a furlong to run now, and Squire Silk from Romancer, then Clifton Beat, and then Nijmegen and Non-Vintage, and Celibate finishing well, but Squire Silk is still holding Romancer as they race up towards the line. He's getting very tired, Squire Silk, but he's just going to hold Romancer as they come to the line. Squire Silk has won the Tote Gold Trophy. Second is Romancer, third is Non-Vintage, four Celibate, five Nijmegen, six Clifton Beat, seven was Catastrophe, behind Catastrophe came warm spell then Balanac behind Balanac was strong promise and then the top weight Mawson behind Mawson was dreams end and the last to finish is Express Gift and so Squire Silk puts up a fine performance to win the 1996 Tote Gold Trophy. The full official result. First number five, Squire Silk, owned by Mr. Robert Ogden, trained by Andy Tunnell, and written by Paul Carberry. Second was number 15, Romancer, the longtime leader, owned by Mr. Matt Archer.
trained by Nigel Twiston Davis and ridden by Carl Llewellyn. Third was number 14, non-vintage, owned by Mr. Alan Mann, trained by Michael Chapman and ridden by Billy Worthington. And fourth was number 20, Celibate. Squire Silk, 13 to 2. Second, number 15, Romancer, 14 to 1. Third, number 14, non-vintage, 33 to 1. Fourth, number 20, Celibate, 66 to 1.